The image before you can be obtained through a series of different types of body positions. They may be called a notch view, a tunnel view, or an intercondylar fossa view. Most of these are PA axial projections. I will now demonstrate or present to you multiple different body positions you can place a patient in to obtain this same image. These first three body positions are all brought to you by Homeblad. As we look at each one, you'll notice that the central ray is always perpendicular to the lower leg or tib fib. This ensures a proper notch view. This position is the Camp Coventry method. So far, you've noticed that all four different positions, the image receptor or image plate is on the anterior portion of the patient. The next one that I'm going to show you is called the Belclair. In the Belclair, the image receptor or image plate is actually on the posterior half, but once again, the central ray is perpendicular to the IR. Regardless of the patient position, if you position and center the patient properly and direct the central ray perpendicular to the tib fib, you should be successful in obtaining this same image. And lastly, sometimes this projection can also be done bilaterally standing up. This here is called a bilateral notch view.